Hi guys, it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our bi-weekly What's New Live. Quilt shops from all over the world depend on Checker for the newest fabrics and notions. So you can find us here every other Wednesday. If you're watching now, I'm pretty sure you already follow us on Facebook. But if not, be sure to hit that like button. You can even turn on notifications to receive reminders when we are live. It's always so fun to see where you're watching from, so make sure you leave a comment with your shop name and location. If you are new to our episodes, welcome. Another great way to stay up to date with what's new in the industry is to check out our website. We add new products every day. They are easy to find. Just select the category and use the drop down to filter newest to oldest. This is a quick way to be sure your shop has the newest quilting and sewing products. Do you know what else you can do? You can join our private Facebook group, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and our newsletter, as well as watch your inbox. These are all great ways to keep up to date. To make ordering easy for you, in the description of this video is a link to all the items that I am showing today. If you have any questions or would like to see something again, go ahead and pop it in the comments and I will answer it for you in the end. Hello to my mother, my loyal watcher. Hello, Linda from Oxford. Hello to Paula from Canada. Thanks for tuning in today, Paula. Hello, Kirsta from All About Quilting in North Carolina. Hello to Patchwork Garden in New York. I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope your weather's good. It's been pretty rainy here, so I'm ready for some sunshine. Hello, Karen from the Oregon coast. Hello, Hillary from Dairyland Fabrics in Wisconsin. And you guys have probably figured out I'm going to start with new books. The first one is from Stash. This is a doodle stitching one hour embroidery. You can sit and stitch a full project in just one hour with the best selling author, Amy Ray of Doodle Stitching Fame. You can mix and match motifs from 18 different projects with original embroidery designs and detailed stitch instructions. Plus, learn how to apply embroidery motifs onto pre-made items so that you can have your own unique and customized look. Mystical Stitches is from Story Publishing. This gorgeous embroidery book, it's hardback, features nearly 200 original designs for symbols inspired by a colorful folk art aesthetic and infused with metaphysical meaning. Christy Johnson offers patterns inspired by botanicals animals, numbers, the cosmos, earth elements, and mythological icons for novice or well-practiced crafters to combine into tal talismans with personal meaning. Among the pretty leaves and pomegranates, a fox plays on a tree swing, squirrels gather goodies, a quail clutches, clutches her little umbrella, and a dog gives feathered friends a ride. Welcome to the whimsical world of Anne Sutton's latest book. This is from Martingale and it's 101 Maple Street. Magical moments await as you combine simple patchwork, applique, and touches of embroidery to bring a host of woodland creatures to life. The Kaleidoscope book by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet is sure to shake up your world with color. 
create quilts filled with a myriad of cool, light, and bright colors centered on a kaleidoscope inspired star block. With three quilt sizes and three pillow size options, there is an endless array of color and design choices. Come along for a new journey visiting some old familiar friends. Among the Stars Again from It's So Emma combines old blocks from the original Among the Stars quilt book with fresh new stars in a brand new setting. With zesty new colorways to sample, you will fall in love with this bright spin on a beloved classic. We also have new notions and some needle art items from It's So Emma. Let's jump right in with the project bags. These project bags are a limited edition. They're only available while supplies last. The Mad for Plaid project bag comes in a new plaid print is in a, and is available separately in all three of these colors. It is essential for storing work in progresses and supplies. You can even stitch on the bag itself and add your own personal touch. This sweet double-sided cutting mat by Fig Tree Quilts for It's So Emma will make cutting a breeze and spruce up your sewing room. The measurements markings go from seven inches and five inches, and the self-healing mat is strong and durable. Cross-stitch finishing dots come in two sizes and are an all-around great notion for mounting needlework. This double-sided, acid-free circle tape adheres to artboards, foam core, and more without leaving residue on your fabrics and without needing pins, staples, glue, or clips. Get a professional finish on every project every time. The perfect hassle-free and worry-free way to show off your work. You probably saw our email and Facebook post about this reliable cordless cloth cutting machine. But let's recap. The battery-operated powerful servo motor can cut up to a cut a single ply of fabric up to a stack that's an inch high, which makes it extremely versatile. It's a lightweight machine, and it includes two lithium batteries and a charger with an optimal two hour runtime between charging. The 4.3 inch high speed steel blade is optimal for cutting. With an extra thin base plate and a light design, the reliable cordless cloth cutting machine is easy to operate. I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut through a stack of fabric. It's 12 layers. This is going to get a little bit loud, so you might want to turn down your speakers on for this demonstration. So it has a switch on the bottom here. It's an extra safety feature so you don't accidentally bump the button. So you're going to flip that on. You'll see the red light turn on and you hold the button down for three seconds to get your LED light. I know we're pretty lit up in here, so you might not see it kick on. And it has another safety feature where you have to double tap that silver button to get it started. Again, so you don't accidentally bump it. So you just have to make sure your blade guard isn't blocking your fabric. Let's get started. And I just 
easily sliced all of these without breaking a sweat, without having to really push down on my rotary cutter to cut through it. Get all my remnants off here. So would this not be great for cutting kits or what? Another actually great feature is that it includes, you probably really can't see it, but in here, there's a built-in sharpener. So that guarantees a sharp edge on every cut. There are also replacement blades, um, extra batteries you can buy, an extra charger, you can buy additional grinding wheels, and you can see all of those on checkerdisc.com. Now you're going to let your work shine bright regardless of your surroundings. Obviously I have lighting in here, but you'll even notice just on this table how light, I guess you really can't, so I'm going to hold it up so you can see me click through it. There's different light settings, you have three of them, it's just a touch here, and as you saw this is adjustable. And so it's super portable because you can see how small it was when I first brought it out here. So again, that makes it perf perfect for traveling. Making sure whether you're in a hotel or just you know in your car, you have nice lighting and you can see. And this is a rechargeable battery. You just need your little USB plug in here, which you know we all have USB plugs. You can plug it in your car, your computer. You can put it in the block for your phone and plug it into a wall. And when it is fully charged, you can get up to six and a half hours of light. Let me turn this off. Again, super compact, super sleek, nice and shiny. And you can't see, but it has these four little lights here that tells you how much charge is left in it. So you're not going to be using it. It's randomly going to go out. You're able to monitor it and you know when you should put it back on the charger. So now we're going to go ahead and switch gears from Notions and talk about some new patterns. I have a variety of new ones from a Buttermilk Basin. I'm only going to show you a few because there are quite a lot. You're going to want to go to checkerdisc.com and check them all out there, but here are a few. These are two aprons. This one is a blessed sewing apron and cover. It actually, the panel they use says, today isn't just an ordinary day. Today, I'll make something beautiful. And this one is a simple sewing apron. You can see, if I hold this up, you got some patchwork. Up next is Stars Quilt. This one finishes at 42 by 62. So you can see these ones are, this is done in holiday colors. So, uh, but oh, I say this every time, you guys can change it up. You can make this patriotic. You can any other way. Then another Christmas one is Christmas Bear Paw Quilt. This one is a 48 inch square. And last but not least is a floral quilt. This one specifically is in the colors again for you know a fall one but you could change up the colors and make it spring i know you guys are creative this one is 56 by 69 inches now we're going to talk about some from kitchen table quilting first up is the birdie quilt so this is a jelly roll friendly quilt and we all love our jelly rolls um, you can make this in a baby, a lap, and a twin. And there's all your fabric requirements on the back, and then obviously for the sizes. The Olivia Quilt. Um, this one's charm pack friendly. That's always great when the pre-cut can be used. I don't know about you, but I can spend hours picking out fabric. And uh, like the other one, you can make this one in a baby, lap, and twin. Then we got the Eliza quilt. This one's a little more modern. And you can make this one in a baby lap, twin, and queen size. 
And the hazel quilt, this one is fat quarter friendly. And again, baby lap and twin sizes. All your info is on the back. From Pine Tree Country Quilts, we have frame to frame, which the name gives it away. This is great for cutting up your panels or really nice blocks you wanna focus on and just framing them in. Winter Stars, you got a nice panel in here and got some more fussy cutting of panels to surround it, which this one you can put the panel, you can do a throw without it, you can do a wall. It's nice to have the options. Here is Ambient Bracelets, a more modern one as well. And Steps and Ladders. This one is 56 by 68 inches. Hello to Rosanna from South Dakota. Hello to Karen from Missouri Star. Hello with Terry from Idaho. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello Carol from CNC Embroidery in Texas. Hello, Renee from Rochester Textile. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Hello, Angela from Lunchbox Quilts. I'm about to show your pattern behind me. So since we just saw that she was watching, let's go ahead and get right into it. So behind me, this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful colored quilt is from Lunchbox Quilts. This is the Just Flowers Applique Embroidery Pattern. It's available in both traditional machine embroider, traditional and machine embroidered applique. You can just plant your flower garden with these bold botanical blocks. The Just Flowers collection has 14 applique designs that are just ready to bloom. Two quilt patterns are included, so you can make this one here, which is a 60 by 60 inch square or you can do a 32 in square wall hanging. And an added bonus is that this pattern does have a coordinating marker block. From Cool Cat Creations is the Stella bag and wallet. This one, you only need three of your favorite fat quarters along with your lining. The bag has a zipper top and divided pockets on both sides of the lining, plus there's that nice little handy key fob. The wallet, it has a long pocket for cash, see some small pockets here in the middle for your cards, and then there's a zippered pocket for your coins. Both the bag and the wallet use a one side fusible foam interfacing as a foundation. I have a few embroidery dish towels from Bare Roots for you today. You have options here as well. You can get it as a kit. Do you see it has your rick rack and your floss? So then you don't have to worry about choosing anything out. It's ready to go. So let's show you some of the patterns. So this one, as you can see, this is Giddy Up. It's got a boot with some flowers coming out of it and a horse. And here is Rise and Shine. You have your little chickies and your rooster. This one is Chase Your Dreams. It's got the cute bike with the basket and the florals coming out of it and some butterflies. And lastly is Farm Girl. You got your sunflower and some corn, some carrots. So again, you can get these as a kit or the pattern individually. 
We're going to do some more patterns now, some from Cindy McCracken Designs. This one is a burst, and you can clearly see that the stars are bursting. For our Michigan fans, these, this is in a nice Michigan colorway, and you can always alter it for your favorite team. Then we got Breezy Point. Some more stars. Stars are so popular. You got Ring Toss. Island Bliss. And Beaten Track. Again, some more stars. Like I said, they're extremely popular. This is the Della Notebook cover pattern from Sally Tomato. This is a collaboration with Embroidery Garden. Inside of this, you can fit a composition notebook measuring seven and a half inches wide by nine and three quarters high. The name was inspired by the popular TV series, Perry Mason. From So Fun is the Baby Puzzle Ball. So this is a colorful, engaging developmental toy. Make a one-of-a-kind baby shower gift. It's super easy and fun. It's a variation on the classic Amish puzzle ball pattern. This cuddly Patrick ball has lots of places for little hands to grab onto, but being that it is you know, soft and made out of fabric, it's gonna roll, but it's not gonna roll away from them. So it'll stay within their space, which is, which is great. You're not chasing it around or trying to find it. Also from So Fun is Baby Sand Castle in Beach Ball. So this is an easy strip piece quilt and matching patchwork ball toy. So it's a two for one. And this to make is just as fun as having a day at the beach. From a Quilt Fox, first up is Gemstones. So you can make a king, a fool, a twin, and a throw. Morning glories. And then you have this Christmas table topper, which you can make in a 40 inch or a 50 inch, as well as you have a placemat that you can make so you can coordinate, and the diameter of that is 18 and a half inches. Jill Shawless is the owner of Yellow Creek Quilt, and a fun fact is that the same building that used to be the post office where her family picked up their mail is now actually her quilt shop. So let's take a look at some of her patterns. First up is Small Town Fun, definitely named after where she grew up. Being in a small town is so nice, everybody knows everybody. Here you have crossing paths, as you see a simply changing the backing from a light to a background from light to a dark makes a lot of difference. You can also make it as a standalone table runner, this floral accent. Here is Woman's Circle. And Family Reunion. A fun thing to do with Family Reunion, if you know you have a handful of people in your family who sew, each of you should make a block and then send them to each other and then it'll be made with a block from all of you. Amelie Scott Designs is home of the Edge to Edge Quilting Packs and she has just announced her very own Quilting Academy course. 
your customers will join Christine Connor over Zoom as she teaches her quilting techniques and answers any of their questions. Attendees learn and gain confidence in the technique while quilting a whole cloth. Then they cut it apart to make a set of four placemats. Your workbook includes full color printed instructions, a one and a half day class hosted over Zoom, 30 days access to said recorded class, $75 of free designs and projects, including 20 exclusive quilting designs, four applique designs, four coasters, four napkins, and four kitchen towels. There are also volume one and two add-ons for the Edge to Edge Quilting Academy book. There are also two dealer kits available as well, one for each volume of the add-ons. The dealer kit includes a sample of the volume booklet you choose that can be used for promotional purposes. Embroidery files that your team can use to make samples are included, access to the video classes that Christine has recorded for that volume. You can keep an eye out for an email from us in the next few days with even more information or you can visit checkerdisc.com as well using the link in the description of this video. It'll show you just the items I'm showing today so these will be in there. Now we're going to move on to a two for one pattern from Snuggle Quilts. This one is called Spinning Spools. It's a two fat quarter friendly prod. It's two fat quarter friendly projects in one pattern. It's scrappy and easy to make with simple wool applique. The table topper is a 28 inch square. And then the table runner is 22 by 36. Now available for the Gypsy Quilter and available in three colors, the Gypsy Quilter Seam Fix Seam Rippers. It's available in Fortunate Fuchsia, Bohemian Blue, and Gypsy Purple. So there's a color for everyone. Each seam ripper has a sharp blade, a safety ball, and the cap. The special plastic material on the cap and the end grabs and removes excess threads from your fabric. Let's move on to this basket full of notions from Sue Spargle Folk Art Quilts. First up are these rigid in paper board embroidery thread winders. These are the perfect storage solutions for all of your embroidery threads. You can avoid knots and tangles with blue skeins and hanks of thread by winding them up. The unique design also reduces kinks in the threads when it's wound properly. Now this is great to pair with their thread ID stickers. Their thread ID stickers are specially designed to stick on the back of your thread winders as I showed you here so that you can easily identify the size, the content, and the color. Each set includes two pages of stickers. So you have a total of six pages which equals out to 150 stickers. Fargo now has a series of creative stitching tools. First up is Spoke Easy. 
Each template has a different number of spokes ranging from five to 10. With eighth inch guides, you can make a circle ranging in size from a quarter inch to an inch and a half in circumference. The possibilities are endless. You can use them for whipped and woven circles, pickets, eyelet wheels, and much, much more. Loop Easy is designed to make perfect loops each and every time. Each template is composed of steps that differ in height, steps that differ in length, which helps accommodate various weights of thread. White eighth inch guides assist in marking and stitch placement, perfect for raised leaf stitch, grass and blossoms, or any stitch that requires a loop. The oval easy, triangle easy, you got a square easy, a hexagon, and a circle easy. These are all ideal for correctly tracing your shapes onto wool or cotton, even linen and some other materials. Each template contains markings to plan, mark, and evenly space your stitches so that you're even around each shape. There is a little protective wrapping on them. When you get them, you're gonna have to peel that off just so you know that it is clear. It's not this little foggy, it is clear plastic. If I went through that a little fast, or you want to see them again, all the items I'm showing are on our website. They're also in the link that's in the description of this video. Hello to Pat from Lavender Patch. Hello from Kim. Hi Kim, how are you doing? Hello Farmer's Daughters, it's good to see you. Hello, Audrey from KTR Sewing Center in Manitoba. Thanks for watching. Hello, Tammy from the Quilt Kitchen in Ontario. Hello to Mary from Little Max Quilts in Michigan. Also, hello to another one from Michigan, Quilted Memories. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. We also have some great new patterns from Sue Spargo. As you can see, a full few of the bags on the wall behind me. Let's start with this one. So these are the Two Tulips Project Pouch. So this is a sweet little reversible double-sided stack for storing all sorts. It's a quick little sew and you feature, it features a drawstring closure that is made to look like a tulip. And you can personalize it by piecing with embroidery or by adding a label. There's just so many options for you. For shopping on the go, or weekends on the go, or just go, 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 you can keep your essentials and stitching projects close at hand with the hand-stitched running round tote it's gonna be your new go-to bag. Got a nice little pocket on the back here, great for your phone, your keys, things you need to be able to grab quick and easy. There's also this quick and easy eco sack. It makes a great lightweight replacement for single use grocery store plastic bags. It's an extremely versatile pattern. It's easy to kit. It only requires two half yard cuts of fabrics and webbing or alternative handles. You can use fun fabrics to make the bag reversible or vary it up by piecing the front and back or by inserting hand embroidered patches. 
We are getting towards the end of today's episode, so make sure you get your questions in the comments. I know we have a couple that I will answer shortly. One pod is not enough. You can store notions, threads, or any essentials in a hand-stitched, vibrant stitched storage pod. A fun, functional project. This would be ideal for a one-day class. Take or teach an explorative study in combining embroidery stitches with this breathtaking tranquil garden needle roll from Sue Spargo. Work through minimally layering the background with applique, then provide a lesson on utilizing positive and negative space. Learn how to mix various types of threads and colors harmoniously and utilize embroidery stitches in a combination to create amazing texture, dimension, and graphics. Then you just roll it up and you're ready to go. The Tone Down Circle Sampler is a monochromatic study with a modern pop that explores the application of embroidery to achieve textural depth and dimension. The pattern includes a needle reference guide, uh, applique layout, full color stitch diagrams with numbered stitch in the thread reference. And next are these cute little guys. I'm gonna try to hold them close so you can see them. These are called the Traveler Needle People, also from Sue Spargo. So this is a perfect way to keep needles and small notions safe when you take your stitching on the go. No more poking your fingers while trying to find needles or small scissors when you're digging through the bottom of your bag. This is made out of thick wool and ribbon. So it keeps your fingers, like you said, makes your fingers safe and you can keep things organized and there is a small magnet that keeps snips or working needles handy, which also makes it an easy project to knit since it's made with a variety of ribbons. All right, so now on to questions. Pat asks, what was the name of the Lori Holt book? Let me bring it back out, She's talking about the Kaleidoscope book. Let's go ahead and flip through it again. Kaleidoscope is from Lori Holt, which most of you know is through It's No Emma. This is made with all sorts of bright colors. You got lights, you got cools, you got everything that you need, and it's all centered on a kaleidoscope inspired block. And there's three pillow sizes as well as three quilt sizes. So you have lots of options for whichever you're, if you're wanting it on your couch, if you want it on your recliner, if you want it on your bed. We all have different preferences. So Terry, that is Kaleidoscope. Um, Terry asks if the daylight lamp fits in a car cover. That's a little bit of a tricky question, Terry. Um, just because cars don't have a universal cup holder anymore, some have really big ones, some have small ones. Um, if I had a guess, I do think it would fit in some of them. To be honest, it actually might fit in mine. Um, but I can't give you a actual answer. So I'm sorry about that, but that's actually a really good question. So if you're working in your car, I have to say I think it would. I think it would. I think it's small enough that it would fit. Josh is gonna do a little research to see if she can find the dimensions, but I don't think there's gonna be dimensions for the base, but we can look into that. Audrey asks, what is the pattern on the wall behind you, the quilt? This is from Lunchbox Quilts. It is the Just Flowers applique embroidery pattern. 
It's available in both traditional and machine embroidery applique. It has 14 applique designs that are just ready to bloom, be bright, and just brighten up any of your spaces. There's two sizes that are included. There's this 60 inch square that is the one that I have hanging behind me. And you can also make it as a 32 inch wall hanging. And again, just as a quick little add on, they do have a marker block for the specific pattern. Um, it looks like they aren't seeing the link for the description to all the items. If that for some reason did not get posted, it will definitely be in the comments. I see our buyer Deb Hanahan is fielding that for us. Thank you, Deb. It says it's not working. Okay, well, when we are done with this video, which is just gonna be in a little bit here, I will go back on here and I will edit that link for you guys. I'm sorry that it's not working. That's the first time we've had that one, so we can add that to our box of things. <laughs> Does it look like we got all the questions? All right. If we did miss your question, I'm sorry. Same for the link in the description. I will get that fixed for you as soon as I sign off here. So in like two minutes, you can check the link in the video description. All these items are available on checkerdisc.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here on Wednesday, July 28th.